Hey there, my name's Steve and I'm the head of community for Pinata. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can create your own weekly photo zine. Well, let's jump right in. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and visit app.pinata.cloud and sign up for an account. I would recommend getting the picnic plan for this particular project that we're gonna be putting together. Once you're signed in, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and upload all the images you wanna use in your photo zine. And it's really easy to do. All you have to do is go to the top right here and click add files. Select a single file and select. And we're just gonna go ahead and pick one of these. I have a collection of images from a trip I took to the beach a while back. And once you've uploaded your images, you can go ahead and preview it by clicking on this little eye right here. And there we go. So go ahead and do that for the rest of your images and copy the URLs for each image. Once you've got all of your images uploaded and your text ready to go, now we can go to ChatGPT to help us create an HTML file that will act as our weekly photo zine or like kind of small web creation. And the first thing you'll probably want to do is establish a prompt so ChatGPT knows its role and also give it the opportunity to ask you questions. And this is really helpful because if you're not a web developer or know what to look for, ChatGPT kind of will. And so it will ask questions that you can answer to get better results. So you can see here I've asked, you are a mobile web developer, you have complete understanding of being able to prompt ChatGPT, you will guide me through the process of building a web page. What questions do you have? So we'll go ahead and send this. So as you can see, it's going to give us a list of questions. So go ahead and take the time to fill that out and we'll meet back here in just a second. All right, so I've got all my responses put in, so let's go ahead and send those. And basically it's going to go ahead and give you a setup for what the project will look like. Now, if a lot of this looks foreign and you're not familiar with coding, that's totally okay. You don't have to be. What's great is that we can go ahead and ask ChatGPT to put all this together for us so we don't have to piece together everything ourselves. So for instance, I can go ahead and say, could you please give me the full HTML page code? And there we go. Now, something that it's also going to probably do is say, you know, you can add your content here and we probably don't feel very comfortable doing that ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and provide it all the content to put in there for us. All right. So I've pasted my content in here and I'm asking ChatGPT to go ahead and put it in the code for us with all of our links here. And it's going to give us the code. And once it's done, you're gonna go ahead and just scroll to the top here and click copy code. And we're gonna go ahead and paste that into our online code editor, Replit, which we'll go to next. Replit is a free online code editor that'll allow us to go ahead and paste in our HTML code, see what it looks like, and then go ahead and upload our finished product to Pinata. So just go to replit.com, sign up for a free account. And once you're in there, you'll wanna to go to the top left here and click create repel. And once you do that, you want to select the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript template. From here, you can go ahead and give it a name and hit Create Repel. And once you do that, you'll see you have your code here on the left and then the result on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this out and paste in all of my content from ChatGPT. And just to heads up, you'll to make it refreshed, you'll want to go ahead and click either Command S if you're on Mac or Control S if you're on Windows to save the file. And there we go. We have kind of these starting images of what we have here. And right away, you can kind of tell this is not exactly what I was asking for. I was asking for more horizontal scrolling than vertical. And these images are kind of big. They don't really size very well. So what you'll want to do from here is go back to ChatGPT and give it the changes that you want as far as like, you know, I want X, Y, and Z. I want these images to be rounded, all those different things. Go back and forth. It'll give you the updated code. Come back here, paste it in, see how it looks and keep doing that until you have what you're looking for. All right. So I've gone back and forth with ChatGPT and Replit and I've gotten a design that I really like. 
and it's very clean. Swipe's nice, everything fits, all the images look great. And again, this just takes a little bit of patience with ChatGPT and just copy and pasting some stuff. So now that we're ready to really launch our project, we wanna go ahead and download this HTML file and then upload it to Pinata. The way we can do that is just by going up here and clicking on the index.html name, and then click this button, Download. Now all we have to do is just upload it to Pinata. And of course, now that we have our file uploaded, we can go ahead and preview it just by clicking on the little preview button here. And there's our little uh, photo zine. Now I'm gonna give you a tip here of how you can make this really a weekly photo zine super easily. So something you might have noticed is the full link, you know, is kind of long, complicated. And if you update this or you create a new HTML file with all of your new photos or a new zine, you'd have to share a new link. And that's not really convenient, but there is a way around it which is really fun. Something you might have noticed is that we're using a gateway called filmzine.mypinata.cloud. And you can actually change this with a custom domain by clicking on these buttons here if you want to do that later. But what's really cool is you can actually set a file as the gateway root. And that means if you visit just filmzine.mypinata.cloud, it will take you to that particular file. So for instance, if I set this file as the gateway root like this, if I visit filmzine.mypinata.cloud, it's going to take us to the project. There you go. And if I have a new zine, I simply just select that new file and select that as the gateway root. And anybody who visits that link will get the updated version of my photo zine. Well, that wraps it up for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them down below and be sure to visit us at pinata.cloud.